Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. <laughs> I like that opening. <laughs> what do you ever say? It's enthusiastic. <laughs> so today we got a good one, okay? A little bit different from what we usually do. So you know the states that there's nine states that don't have an income tax. Oh, okay, yeah. So how do they pay their bills? Like me. Uh, I lived in New Hampshire. No income tax. I lived in Wyoming. No income tax. I live in Florida. No income tax. And I lived in one more place that had no income tax. Mm -hmm. But then I lived in New York at an income tax. So how do these states get away with no income tax? And we're going to talk about it in this article. And some other states can't. They need an income tax. And some of them are really, really expensive income right. tax. So let's dig into this thing and see what the deal is. All Why right. can't every state not have an income tax? Me personally, I think there should be no federal tax either. I think there should be a flat sales tax. You hear that thunder? Oh yeah. I they, think they've so, tried uh, to pass that a couple times. A consumption tax, mm -hmm. you know? So it, depending on what you buy, you pay a tax there. So there won't be a lot of cheating. Say, hey, you want to buy that car? This is the federal sales tax. Right. So I don't know, that's that's my opinion, but let's read on this. Let's find out why some states have an income tax, some states don't. And do me a favor, consider subscribing. We're trying to avoid this lightning, not getting hit. And subscribe, give this th uh, video a thumbs up. It really helps out the algorithm and it's greatly appreciated. Bill, start us off. All right, right before I was born in the 1970s, my family moved to Texas from Nebraska. Bill, not me. Not him, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the article. Okay. This is the article. I was born here. Okay, go for in it. In Tampa. A big reason was because Texas was and still is considered a low tax state and my dad wanted to start his business there. Texas is also one of the nine states that don't have an income tax on the earned income of people working there. So, okay, so Texas is a, is a big one. One of the reasons that I know a lot of people who moved here is where they screwed up too, mm -hmm. like they told me, I said, why'd you move to Florida? Well, the weather, of course, and you know, but it's hot, humid, but we moved here, they always said the income tax. I was like, yeah, where'd you move from? Oh, we moved from Nebraska. Okay, now take a look at Florida's car insurance and property insurance and homeowners, you know, property taxes and homeowners insurance. Now, the difference between that and mm -hmm. say Nebraska. Now tell me if you're saving money, because money's money. Right. Whether you're paying it an income tax Doesn't or matter. whether you're paying it on something else. Yep. It's very simple. Money in, money out. Money in, money out. So go for it. That doesn't mean Texas doesn't impose any taxes on its residents. It does. Texans pay other taxes to help pay for schools, hospitals, healthcare, roads, airports, firefighters, business loans public safety, and all kinds of other public services. For example, Texans pay some of the highest property taxes in the United States. Like New Hampshire. New Hampshire doesn't have an income tax. Right. But their property taxes are stupid. <laughs> right. And I can say that because I live there and I just sold, I sold my house there because the property taxes are ridiculous. Yeah. Over $1,000 a month right now. Whew. Man. California and New York have the highest top tax rates for earned income, but not everyone pays that rate. Most states have several tax brackets, so lower income residents pay a lower percentage of their income. Nine states have no earned income tax. All right, let's find out what states, but it's true. In New York, you know, basically it, it is a category depending on how much you make. Yeah. But the, if you're successful in New York, you end up paying a lot of taxes. Right. So that's why a lot of successful people actually leave New York mm -hmm. because they're like, okay, now that I made it, now the state wants all my money. Right. I personally would never move back to New York and I would definitely not move to California. I'm actually doing a video from somebody with from California very soon. So make sure you subscribe to watch it. Go for it. Why states get to make the rules. In general, states have the power to tax their residents. When residents choose to live in a state, they benefit from the state's laws and protections and pay taxes at part of sharing costs of governments. Mm -hmm. 
Like how the U.S. Constitution gives U.S. government the right to impose federal taxes, every state has its own state constitution and laws that may impose taxes on a range of items. They might tax earned income from wages, money earned from investments, purchases of alcohol, fuel, tobacco, or groceries, or any number of other items, industries, and activities such as sporting events and hotel stays. There are a lot of different kinds of taxes, and every state has unique so, rules. So let me ask you guys this question, and I ask you guys too. So if there's an income tax, just reading that one paragraph makes it sound like whether the state has an income tax or it doesn't, it's really no big deal because you're paying the taxes one way or another. That's what that paragraph made it sound like. Right, because they're going to hit you with taxes on it, like our luxury tax here, um, um, the hotel taxes. You pay more... Yeah, because we're a tourist people. Because we're a tourist so state, so we're we pay a, tourist a lot more state, tourist So tax. they want the out-of-staters to pay a lot of the uh, taxes right. on it. But at the same time, I still wouldn't move to a state with an income tax. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't. I don't know if it's just the paperwork or what. I, I, I don't like it, but let's see what it keeps saying. Not just politicians decide what and how much tax to collect. Citizens often vote on whether to impose, increase, or eliminate state taxes. For example, on Election Day in November 2024, voters in some states will be asked whether they want the state to increase taxes to fund social programs. In Oregon, voters will decide whether to increase taxes on corporations operating to pay for their new anti-poverty program. So I want to talk about that a little bit. So, okay. you know, every time they put up a, a tax program, like they have a, in a county that I live in and you live in, it's called Penny for Pasco. Right. It sounds like, you know, they name it in a way that's a trick. Penny for Pasco. Right. All right, fine. I'll give up a penny. But it's not a penny. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it, it's 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 a lot more money than that, and, and it's kind of like fraudulent the way they put it. Penny for Pasco. Yeah. Well, it started with Pinellas County back in the day. Oh, it did. Yeah. So they did the. So our our sales tax used to be six percent. Well, technically, our sales tax is six percent, and then they have the penny for Pinellas, um, kind of like where we're at right now, and it's an additional one percent on everything. But that penny is earmarked for the county. Right, but just the way they name it is, right. is kind of bait and switch, scamish a little bit. Right, yeah, you but it's, our, it's for our um, sales tax on goods. Among the states that do have personal income tax on wages, the tax rates can either be the same percentage of everyone's income or they can vary depending on how big the person's paycheck is. In some states, tax rates increase as taxpayers make more money. Yeah, so you punish the successful ones. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a little bit flip here, but people are, people are going to say, hey, they could afford it. Don't get me started. Anyway, right, so <laughs> no income tax doesn't mean tax free. The nine states that don't have earned income taxes are, drumroll, Alaska, Florida, Nevada, New Hampshire, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. All right, so let's go with that. Okay, so now I know where, okay. Alaska, I would love to visit, but I wouldn't live there. Florida, I live in there now. New Hampshire, I live there. Mm -hmm. um, Wyoming, I live there. South Dakota, I live there. So I did live in another state. So, so basically here, Alaska, no. Florida, yes, I would say I live there. Nevada, I would, wouldn't mind checking out. New Hampshire, I lived there. South Dakota, I loved it. Tennessee, I would love to check out. Texas, I think it's cool. Washington State. No way. Not for me. <laughs> uh, Wyoming, obviously, uh, the kids still live there, so I go there all the time. Right. So, yeah, I think, you know, those are some cool states in there in that list. Yeah. There's some states I'd like to go visit. Mm -hmm. So, when a state doesn't impose income taxes, it often imposes other taxes to pay for education, roads, health care, and other public services. That makes sense. Right. In some cases, states will impose higher sales tax or higher property taxes, such as taxes on a person's home value. Or they may rely on cities and counties to impose those taxes and pay for services. For example, Tennessee has no state income tax, but it has one of the highest combined state and local taxes 
at 9.548% of any state at the time of this article. So let's, let's talk about something real quick. New Hampshire, mm -hmm. they don't have an income tax and they don't have a sales tax. So you can go buy a $50,000 car and pay zero sales tax. Interesting. Okay? Mm -hmm. But they kill you. They kill you on property taxes. Okay. That's where they make, like, I mean, ridiculous amount of money on property taxes. Okay. So it's nice not having a sales tax, and it's nice not having, like, people from Maine would cross over the bridge to go shopping in New Hampshire. Then they would go to the mall, and authorities from... I say, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, authorities from Maine would come, and they would scope out the New Hampshire uh, malls, and they would write down people's license plates numbers. Yeah because they knew they were shopping in New Hampshire, and then they would send them letters saying, hey, we know you were in New Hampshire shopping, send us some money. <laughs> but, but that's, you know, there's always a drawback of something. Right. State governments rely on different types of taxes. Florida and New York have similar population sizes, as does Washington and Arizona. Since neither Florida nor Washington has a personal income tax, the pairings can be useful. They show how some states rely more on other taxes, particularly sales taxes, to pay for public services. Note that local sales taxes and local property taxes aren't included. Hmm. Hmm. On the other hand, Alaska is one of the lowest tax states. It does not have the state income tax or sales tax. Alaska does, however, have a state property tax and it can impose significant taxes on the oil and gas companies that operate there. Its cities and other local jurisdictions can also impose sales tax at, local, at the local level and often do so. All right, hmm. so, so that's interesting. Okay, so now we know what states they are. Okay, the pros and cons of no income tax. Because there are some pros and cons. Right. Okay. There are both benefits and drawbacks of living in states that don't impose state income tax. True. You might save money, but that doesn't mean you, you, you will pay no taxes. There are trade-offs to consider. Sometimes states have no income tax, but they, do have, they don't have the best public services. Right. If they don't have the money for the public services, right. you're not going to have the public services. Right. Me, I'd rather not have the public services, but... <laughs> you know, everybody says that until you need the public services, and then I'm you're like, about oh. roads or this and that. I'm talking about, you know, some of them build these, you know, like monuments or statues that cost. Or, or I know I read an article about one state. I won't even mention the state, but they built these bathrooms, mm -hmm. and they were like seven, eight million dollars a piece for a bathroom. For a bathroom. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding you. For some bathroom. fancy bathrooms. They waste so much freaking money. Yeah, there's an area here that um, it has a requirement, like an art requirement for projects over a certain size and any government buildings, you know, city, state, and local government. So they have to do these art projects and they have, it is a percentage of the total budget and it eats up hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of dollars. Stupid. For every city building that gets that's, built. That's my, that's my pet peeve. You know, I hate when people just waste money for stupidity. That's taxpayer dollars. Yeah. For example, you may want to move to such states as Texas to avoid paying income taxes, but you'll need to be prepared to pay more for health care. In general, Texas has some of the lowest government spending on health care and public transportation. Don't live there? Didn't know that? Don't Interesting. Help. Yep. Okay. When states impose higher property tax or sales taxes to bring in enough money to make up the lack of income tax, that can also affect the overall affordability of living in a no-income state tax. True. If they don't have an income tax, they might increase the sales tax. Right. And they might call it something stupid like, hey, it's only like 1%. <laughs> you know? <laughs> be like, yeah, what's 1%, you know? Right. So, so you got to be careful with that. This matters the most for lower income people because state sales tax that have a greater impact on overall affordability. I believe that. Because sales tax, there's no way around it. Right. 
income tax, the rich know how to maneuver and have the shell companies. They, they know right. how to play the game. They've got enough money to make it worthwhile but to move But somebody things. that doesn't have a lot of money and just wants to go buy a coat because it's cold out, and now they're paying, instead of paying 7% sales tax, now they have to pay 8 9%. Right. That, that's a direct effect. So I agree with that 100%. Yep. For example, students going to college and working part-time may have low incomes, right? Mm -hmm. But they live in a state with high sales tax instead of an income tax. Right. That's a really good example. Yeah. They will be paying the same high rate as fully employed people with much higher incomes. As a result, the students may struggle more to make ends meet and uh, as a full-time worker. That's a good it's true. statement. That's a, that's a valid point when people start to talk about, you know, this flat tax type stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Remember that in most cases, Americans still paying some taxes for their income. Even if a person is subject to state income tax, the majority of the U.S. population pays federal income tax. And for many people, those federal taxes are quite a bit higher than the state income tax. That's true. True. That's true. So basically, at the end of the day, does it, for me, I would still want to live in a state with no income tax because I hate doing taxes. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just that simple. Right. You know, and it's just paperwork and receipts and it's just too stressful. Yeah. I'd rather pay a sales tax. Here, I'm buying this. Here's your seven, eight, six percent, whatever it is. Right. And be done with it. Yeah. But this article did bring up some valid points because I do tend, I tend to agree with you on that. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's it's a simpler process. I think it makes more sense overall, especially when it comes to dollars. But money in, money out, like you always said, because mm -hmm. if you know, it just doesn't matter where I pay my money, whether it's to a, a tax at the end of the year or you know, I'm paying it little by little as I go buy things. But it does hurt some people. It does. You know. But Tell us what you guys think. Would you, do you live in an income state, you know, an income tax state? Tell us what state. Tell us if it's a, a lot of money, a little bit of money. Tell us a little bit about it. Or would you move to a state that has, if you live in a state that doesn't have an income mm -hmm. tax, would you move to a state that does have an income tax? Answer those questions. We'd greatly appreciate it. That's today's video. Do me a favor, watch this video right here. It's a really, really good video. I picked it up just for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, like, share. Thank you, and have a great day, and we will speak to you in the next one. See you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.